Hello, welcome to Elif's Kitchen. Today I want to share my recipe of crispy lahmacun, which is known as the Turkish pizza. Let's put one large onion for the inside mortar into the kitchen robot and add two or three cloves of garlic. I pass them through the robot until it is very thin. Let's put them in our mixing bowl. I put 4-5 chili peppers and one large red capia pepper in the robot. Let's pass them until they are thin again. I also put them in the mixing bowl. Now we put two peeled medium sized tomatoes through the robot and add it onto the mortar. Now let's chop half a bunch of parsley on the board thinly and add it on top. If you wish you can pass the parsley from the robot. Let's add 400 grams of medium fat minced ground beef on it. And now I add 1 dessert spoon pepper paste and 1 dessert spoon of tomato paste. Let's add enough salt, black pepper, chili pepper and powdered pepper. We are adding 1 teacup of liquid oil. You can reduce the amount of oil if you use ground beef with high fat. Let's knead our mortar well. Look, in this way our inner mortar should be watery. If it has a solid consistency and it's not juicy, you can add half a teacup of water. If you have time, cover it with a plastic wrap and put it in the fridge. We are going to keep it in the fridge for one or two hours. Let's prepare our dough. We put 3 cups of water into the kneading bowl for our dough. Let's add 1 dessert spoon of salt. We will use enough flour. In the first place I added 4 cups of flour and I start kneading my dough. Let's knead our dough by adding our flour gradually. I used a total of 8 cups of flour. Please add it in a controlled manner. The dough's consistency should be as you see in the video. Now let's sprinkle some flour on the counter and take our dough. I'm kneading the dough for about 5 minutes this way. The more our dough is kneaded, the better our lahmacun will be. So this is a very important step. Let's divide our dough into pieces at the size of a tangerine. Now we put them on the counter and cover it with a clean cloth and let the dough rest for about half an hour. Now sprinkle some flour and roll. Let's open them to the size of a dinner plate. We are gonna roll all our dough the same way and we place them on a clean cloth in one row. Now we take our mortar out of the fridge and mix it up. We are gonna mix the inner mortar each time. We take about one and a half tablespoons of the inner mortar on each dough. We spread it over with our hands. Now we bake it in the oven in 250 degrees with the upper lower setting. I place the tray on the bottom shelf. It takes about 4-5 minutes to cook. Look, its bottom is nicely fried this way. Then place it on the top shelf of the oven after the bottom is fried. Let's cook it 2-3 more minutes. It is not a necessity to cook the upper side once more. Let's place another lahmacun on the bottom shelf. We cook all our lahmacuns this way. Our crispy Turkish pizzas are ready for service. I hope you try and like it. Thank you for watching my video.